Hello, good evening. How are you today? Fine, fine. Hi, teacher. Fine. Hi, yeah. Hi, hi. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi. How are you? Fine, fine. Excellent. Hi, teacher. Hi, hi. How are you? Fine, thank you. Fine, fine, fine. Okay, vamos a ver. I'm going to call you. Qué relajo anda haciendo, criatura. This is a book. This is a note. It's not yours, no. <clears throat> Take that thing with you. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, vamos a ver, Adriana. Just... Present teacher. Ay, pero... <laughs> no. Ay, no, 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 Estaba en, en otra lista que empieza con Adriana. Me gusta. Terief. Ta, 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 ta. We finish March today, chicos. Finish March. We begin April. Tomorrow, this is, <clears throat> oh, tomorrow is the last day of March, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, vaya. Tell me present, Adriana Marcela. Present teacher. Ahí, San Alicia. Ana Alicia. No here. Carolina Abigail. Present teacher. <coughs> Sorry. Sorry. Thank you. Claudia Carolina. Present. Oh, yes. Diego Batres. Present. Ed Edwin Mauricio. Present teacher. Grace Mitchell. Grace Michelle, no here. Jonathan David. Jonathan, no. Karen Janet. Present teacher. Nice. Karen Stephanie. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Kevin René. Kevin René. Luis Edgardo. Present teacher. Luis Mauricio. Present teacher. Noé Ortiz. Noé, Noé. Noé Ortiz. No está Noé Ortiz. Rosailda. Present teacher. Mario. Mario, Mario. Mario. No está. Luz Angélica. Luz Angélica. Present teacher. Joana Ruth. Present teacher. Jose Alfredo. Present teacher. Marina Vanessa. 
Presente, teacher. Ok, hoy sí, ¿verdad? David Alexander. Presente, teacher. Ok. Ah. Excelente. Now. Teacher Grace present. Vaya, vamos a ver ahorita los que no estaban, a ver si se me han agregado. Ana. Grace. Sí, verdad, Grace. Michelle. Present. Ok. Jonathan David. Karen Stephanie. Kevin. No veo. Present. Kevin. Sí. Noé Ortiz, Mario, no, ok, Pacha, eh, hola teacher, eh, soy Jonathan, ya soy acá, ah, va Jonathan, great. gracias, también Karen Barrientos, Karen, Karen Stephanie Flores. Pasión. Ok, vaya. Today eh, we are talking about. Uy, niños, qué calor. Yo me estoy cocinando. We are going to be talking today about idiomatic expressions. You're going to be eh, learning some idiomatic expressions. And of course, you're going to be using those idiomatic expressions, right? But we are going to, hmm, to learn a couple of things for you to know how to deal with idiomatic expressions, especially uh, when you want to, to talk, right? Or you don't want to, but you have to talk with people that are native speakers and they use idiomatic expressions and you go like, what do they mean, right? How to deal with idiomatic expressions. So we're going to be talking about that today. Okay. Vamos a ver. I'm going to share. Remember yesterday we were talking about a present perfect and we were saying that we use the present perfect to talk about experiences, but also to talk about things that we have done, right? Something that we have done or something that we haven't done. For example, uh, sometimes you have, a, you have an agenda, right? You have an agenda, yeah. And in the agenda, you have a list of things to do. And you say, well, I have to go shopping. So you write in your list, go shopping wash the dishes, feed the cat or feed the dog, um, send an email to fulanito. You have the list of things that you want to do or that you know you have to do. And then it's 3 p.m. and you go to your list and you say, well, I have fed the dog. I have sent the email to Fulanito. I have washed the dishes, but mm, I haven't gone shopping yet. So you have the list, right, of the things to do. That's a to-do list. And then you start looking at the list and you start saying what you have done or what you haven't done. And in that case, we use the present perfect to talk about it, okay? Remember yesterday we were also saying that when we are using 
eh, regular verbs de simple past. No sé, get un. The simple past and the past participle is the same, right? So you have liked, liked, cooked, cooked, ended, ended, traveled, traveled, moved, and moved. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Keep in mind, regular verbs, because these are regular, right? Regular verbs, simple past and past participle are exactly the same. In the case of irregular verbs, they change. The past participle can be totally different to the past simple. Well, we have watch here. Watch this one. I guess that's the only one we have, yeah. That's the only one we have in the list that is regular, not irregular, right? Okay, do you have any question about that? Questions? No question? No, yes? No teacher, I want to hear you more to understand. Okay, bye, check. We are, we are going to do something here. Tell me, tell me, I'm going to add one more page. Mm -hmm. And here in this page, we are going to make like a, an agenda, right? Or a to-do list. Remember the structure is have or has, and the verb in the past participle, right? Have or has and the verb in past participle. So let's go to the next page. As I was telling you, well, we have a to-do list. So first thing we're going to do is make our to-do list. So what are the things that you have to do this week? Let me find, okay. I'm going to change. Hmm. We're going to use this one. It is a a to to do eh, not to do to do list. What are the things that you have to do this week? Think about your workplace. What are the things that you have to do this week? Hmm? This week we have to take the prom picture. We have to? To take, Ooh. yeah, that's true. Take the prom picture. Yeah, it seems that all the schools uh, are taking the moment to take the pictures for the for the titulo, right? Or the diploma. And the ones for the carnets too. Vaya, what else? What else do you have to do? I have to call patients. To call patients. Okay. Mm -hmm. What else? Make a, rep, a monthly report. Aha, uh -huh, because we are finishing the month, right? The monthly report. Bueno, no period because it's not a sentence. Okay. What else do you have to do? Hmm? Yep, two more things that you have to do this week. Mm -hmm. Yes.
What else do you have to do, chicos? A ver. Nothing. You're free. Totally free. Nothing to do. If I do my English homework from for a week. Okay. Do the... Do the English homework. Nice. Wash the dog. Wash the dog. Ay, pobre chuchu. Nah. <laughs> bath the dog. Oh, we had to bath the cat. You know, today the cat is white, but she looks like a siames. You know what color are the siames, right? That like between beige and gray, and it's a combination like that. Well, the cat looks like a siames cat. And she is supposed to be white. So she's not white today. She's a siames. She has transformed. So we have to bath the cat. Okay. Um, any, no more? No more, no more? Send the report to, I don't, say, I don't know how to say the, the mail from the week to the parents. Mm -hmm. So that would be like this one, like write the monthly report. Yeah, it's a different type of report, but we have to, to say, hey, look, your children have not been in class. They have not uh, presented all the activities. They are missing this in this activity. Your child is not participating. Okay. Uh -huh. So different, a little different type of report, but the end is the same. Now, with what, what, hey, what, what have you done? Hmm? What have you done? What happened? you done yet remember yesterday you were mentioning with your uh, partners what things you have done when you call the mechanic to come and check the problem that you have in your machine you have already done a couple of things right they work maybe or they work or they didn't work but you have done something Okay, so now we're just applying this to our daily life, not just to a problem related to, 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 to a machine, right? Baya, tell me, have you taken the prompt picture, Anna? Could you repeat, please, excuse me? Have you taken the prompt picture? Yeah, yeah I took it. You took it already. I, ah, bueno. Well, espérenme, que aquí yo me voy a ir a lo, a lo fácil a ocupar mi lapicito. So, ya, yeah. porque el chequecito en la computer, saber dónde anda. Vaya, take the prompt picture. Call patients. Have you called patients, Joanna? Yes. Yes, you have called patients. Uh, have you written the monthly report? Who told me about the monthly report, Edwin? Um? Yes, I have right the monthly You record. have written the monthly report. Okay. Have you done the English homework? Yes, Anna, I Anna. did it, I did it. Okay, Anna, yes, and the others? Not yet, teacher. Not yet. Wow, okay. Put across here. Have you bathed the dog this week? Yeah, no, I don't. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. But when we come, so you see how I was asking, right? Right? Have you taken the prompt picture? You say, yes, I have. Have you called the patients? Yes, I have. Have you written the report, the monthly report? Yes, I have. Others say, no, I haven't. Have you done the English homework? No, I haven't. Have you bathed the dough? Mm, no, I haven't. Okay, 
what we are going to do here. Now, we're going to write sentences saying what you have done. And you told me yes for the first three and no for the last two, right? Okay, then we come and we write the sentences saying what you have done, <clears throat> what you haven't done. Remember we said the structure is have or has and the verb in the past participle. Which verb in past participle? With this one, right? This one, this verb will be in the past participle. Is it regular? Mm -hmm. Is it irregular? The same. So it doesn't matter if the verb is regular or irregular, you put it in past participle. Okay? Back check. We say, um, have you taken the prom picture yet? You said yes. Then you write the sentence. We had, you can say we or I, we have already, que significa already? Como realizado? Ajá, como ya. Ok, ya, ya estuvo, ya lo hicimos. We have already taken the prom picture. Ok. We have already taken the prom picture. What about the next one? Call oh, patients. Call have patients. you called patients? Yes. Who did it? Me. Only me. Not nobody helped me, right? So I have already. Digo ya already porque ya lo hice, right? I have already called. Remember the past participle form of the verb. I have already called patients. Yes, I have already called patients. Verb in the past participle. Have you written the monthly report yet? And you said, yes, I have already written. Past participle of write is written. I have already written the monthly report. Yes. Have you done the English homework yet? And you said no. Uh-huh. So in this case, we will change. And you say, I haven't, this will be negative. I haven't done the English homework yet. See, I haven't done the English homework yet. Have you bathed? Have you bathed? bath the doll and you say no okay so the same right i haven't bath is regular verb do i only add ed i haven't bathed the doll yet okay i want you to pay attention to these two words already i'm going to put them in a different color already I use already in affirmative sentences to say something that ya lo hice, right? And yet in negatives and questions, that means aún o todavía. In the question, of course, you say, have you, have you done the homework yet? Have you done the homework yet? Ya hiciste la tarea. No significa ya has hecho la tarea. En este caso, no. Ya hiciste la tarea, pero estamos así hablando de algo que ya hicimos o que aún no. Right? So, ya hiciste la tarea. And remember, por eso, ayer les decía, estamos hablando de una unfinished action. ¿Por qué unfinished? Porque usted no ha hecho la tarea, pero todavía tiene dos días para hacerla esta semana. Mm -hmm. So you have two days. Y 
el, el día aún no termina, termina a las 12 de la noche. Pero usted todavía tiene tiempo para hacer la tarea de hoy que no ha hecho. Right? Entonces podemos decir, no, no la he hecho. Sí. Check the question. Have you done the homework yet? Ya hiciste la tarea. No, ya has hecho la tarea. ¿Sí? Porque cuando usted traduce algo como ya lo has hecho, está hablando de experience. No está hablando de una to-do list como en el caso de ahorita. ¿Ok? It means if you in a past time did the thing. Excuse me, can you repeat that, Ana? You are saying that when you use that expression, you are talking about the you did something in the past. Ajá, pero como es un unfinished past. ¿Sí? Because it is in your list to do this week. So these are the things that you're going to do this week. And the week hasn't finished. Right? So that's why we are talking about an unfinished. If I say, did you do the homework yesterday? Al ponerle yo la palabra yesterday, ya le indica que el tiempo terminó, porque el día de ayer ya terminó. ¿Sí? Entonces, did you do the homework yesterday? And you say, no, I didn't. I will do it today because I have questions. Okay? So that is different. But if I tell you, have you done the homework yet? No, I haven't done the homework yet, but I plan to do it today. O sea, el día no ha terminado y la semana tampoco. O sea, todavía está dentro del tiempo de su to-do list to do the activity. Yeah? And remember something else here. Vamos a ver, quiero... ¿A dónde anda? Ay, ¿a dónde es? Aquí está. <ríe> que se me había ido. Vaya, check. Remember, we are using the verb in the past participle, right? Another thing to check. Already va así en medio de Javi el verbo, pero yet va al final. No importa si es pregunta o si es oración negativa. Jet va a ir al final. ¿Ok? Vamos a ver. So you say, have you, uh, have you taken a picture yet? No, I haven't taken a picture yet. Oh, yes, I have already taken a picture. Yes? Any question here? No sé si ya les queda un mejor, más claro este tema. Yes, thank you. Okay. But if there are no questions, we can move to the topic that we have for today. Today, eh, we are going to be talking about idiomatic expressions. ¿Qué son idiomatic expressions? These are expressions that we use, well, native people use ex these expressions a lot. We don't use them uh, too much, right? Sometimes, just sometimes. But uh, for example, when we are speaking Spanish, we use a lot of idiomatic expressions that are part of our language. We don't notice, right? We don't notice because for us, it is normal to speak like that. But for people who are learning Spanish, it becomes so hard trying to guess what you're trying to say. And here, it's that same situation, right? You say, Ay, my stomach is killing me. So like, ¿Cómo que el estómago la está matando? ¿Cómo así? Right? Somebody who doesn't speak Spanish will say, like, ¿Cómo, cómo? Si usted dice, ay, mi estómago me está matando. ¿Cómo qué? Or like when you say, me mataste. 
maté con esos tamales, estaban tan ricos, como que la mató con los tamales, estaban ricos. For a Salvadorian person, that would be like, oh, normal to speak like that. But for a person who's learning Spanish, will sound like, hmm, I don't understand, right? But the same happens when we are using idiomatic expressions in English. For American people, it's normal, right? Common, part of the way they speak. But for Salvador, oh, well, for any people learning English, it goes like, mm. and I have for you a couple of tips that we are going to learn. Okay, here. We're going to talk about this before we go to the conversation. And I want you to see. Check. When we talk about English idioms, that's how we call them, idioms or idiomatic expressions, there are seven ways that we can, or seven tips that we can use to understand them easily. One, pay attention to the context, right? Uh, for example, you're talking with friends, you went gambling, and you have a friend that is winning a lot. You say like, wow, you're a lucky doll. You're not telling dog to your partner or to your friend, but you're telling your friend that he's very lucky, right? He's a very lucky person. Or for example, if I give you an exercise and you find it like, very easy you say wow this is a piece of cake i guess that expression is like one of the most common that students or teachers use and you may be familiarized with that right like that's a piece of cake that means it's very easy not delicious but easy right now so check the context pay attention to the context and check that it says listen because usually we use idiomatic expressions when we are in conversations, when we're talking. Now, check to see if you understood. So ask for clarification. Excuse me, what do you mean? Can you say that again. So remember, we have uh, studied before different phrases or expressions that you can use to ask for clarification so if you have questions ask the person who's saying that so try to check if you understood the idiomatic expression or the situation with the context right be honest when you don't understand see if you don't understand the idiomatic expression be sure that you tell the person who's talking to you if, um, what do you mean right so i don't understand Never translate idioms. For example, if I tell you, wow, you're a lucky dog. ¿Qué me está diciendo perro suertudo? ¿Qué le pasa? Right? Because the translation is not the right one. Or if you say, wow, it's raining cats and dogs. Okay. We say sapos y culebras, right? In Spanish. Están lloviendo sapos y culebras when it is raining very hard. But in English, you don't say frogs and snakes. You say cats and dogs. It's raining cats and dogs. And that means it's raining very hard. So don't translate the expression because you won't find anything. So you pay attention to the context. But, uh, okay, what are you saying? So you try to understand because you're trying to translate and idiomatic expressions uh, have a meaning that is completely far from a literal translation. Totally far, right? Now, check this. Listen to how native speakers use idioms. Imitate, right? So you listen to in what context they use the idiomatic expressions and you try to imitate the way they use them, right? Take notes. So you listen to an idiomatic expression, take notes, try to use it later on, right? 
so you will get familiarized with these expressions um, if you use them, right? Tolerate your mistakes. And you make a mistake trying to understand an idiomatic expression, don't get frustrated. Hey, yo, yo, no entiendo nada. No, get uh, tolerate it. Don't worry. Everybody makes mistakes. You're learning an idiomatic, uh, idiomatic expressions may be totally new for you. So try to get the context, try to understand. If you don't understand, ask the person who's using the idiomatic expression. And if you make a mistake, don't feel bad because you made a mistake. Just make notes and try to keep using that expression in the future so you get familiarized with it. I don't know if you have any question about that. No? Okay, perfect. Later on in the conversation, I want you to pay attention to the context, right? Pay attention to the context of the expressions. Now, there we go. Check. You're going to listen first and then we will practice repeating the conversation. Good morning. This is Mr. Ruiz. Hello, Mr. Ruiz. This is Jani. I have a situation. Hi, Jani. Tell me, what's the matter? I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I'm as sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? There is something going around. I hope you're feeling better. Oh yeah, I'm in my tip top shape. Take it easy, Jenny. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Ruiz. Have a nice rest of the day. Okay, now um, let's go repeating the conversation. Good morning, this is Mr. Ruiz. Good morning, this is Mr. Ruiz. Hello, 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 Mr. Ruiz. Hi, Jani. Hi, Jani. Hi, Jani. Tell me, what's the matter? 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 I'm not feeling well today. I'm not, I'm not feeling, I'm well, not feeling well, today. well today. I'm not feeling well today. I'm, I'm not, not feeling, feeling well, well today. today. My stomach is killing me. My, my stomach is killing, killing me. me. My stomach is killing me. My stomach, my stomach is, is killing, killing me. me. Is killing me. I'm as sick as a dog. I'm as sick as a dog. I'm as sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Okay, I understand. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh. Really? Oh, oh really? really? There is something going around. There is something, there is something, something going, going around. 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 I hope you're feeling better. I, I hope you are feeling, feeling better. Feeling better. Oh yeah. I'm in I'm in tip top shape. Oh yeah. I'm in tip top shape. I'm in tip top shape. shape. I'm in tip -top shape. I'm in tip-top shape. Take it easy, Johnny. Take it easy, Johnny. Take it easy, Johnny. Take it easy, Johnny. I hope to see you on Monday. 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 Thanks a lot, Mr. Ruiz. 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 Have a nice rest of the day. Have a nice rest of the day. Have a nice rest of the day. 
have a nice have a rest, rest of, the day. of the day. Okay, now I'm Mr. Ruiz. Well, I don't know if you have any questions about pronunciation. What is tip top shape? What is tip top shape? Vamos a ver who wants to answer your partner. Something like uh, take it to the better way. Uh-huh. So you are. How do you feel today? I'm in great condition. I feel very well. I have no problems. I was sick, but now I'm better, right? Now I'm well completely. That would be a tip top tip. Another question? Are you in a tip top shape? Hmm? Yes, I am. You are? Okay, nice. Now, we are going to read it again. This time, I'm Mr. Ruiz and you're going to be Jenny. Later on, we will change. Good morning, this is Mr. Ruiz. Hello, Hello, Mr. Mr. Rees. This, this is Jenny. Jenny. I, have I have a situation. A situation. Hi, Jenny. Tell me, what's the matter? I, I am not feeling well today. My stomach is so much me. I'm as sick as a dog. I'm as sick as a dog. Oh, okay. I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? Really? Yeah. really? There is something going around. Going around. Yeah. 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 Hope you are feeling better. Yeah. Feeling better. Yeah. I'm feeling better. Oh, yeah. I'm in tip top shape. Take it easy, Johnny. I hope to see you on Monday. Oh, Thanks yeah. a lot, Mr. Reese. Have a nice rest, rest of, of the day. day. Okay, I'm now you work. are Mr. Reese. I'm going to be Johnny. Okay? Okay. But sure. Good morning. This is my Good morning. This is Mr. Wish. Mm -hmm. Hello, Mr. Wish. This is Danny. I have a situation. Hi, Danny. Can you tell me what's the matter? Mm, I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I'm as sick as a dog. Okay. Okay. okay, I understand. I understand. Two days ago, days ago I, was I, was under under the I was feeling under the weather. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? There is something going around. I hope you're feeling better. Oh, oh yeah. 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 I'm in a tip top shape. Tip -top shape. Take, Take it easy, easy Jenny. Jenny. I hope to see, you on, to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Reese. Have a nice rest of the day. Okay, Basha, what you're going so you're to do? You get a tip top shape. Excuse me, Karen. Al final, no entendí que era tip top shape. Tip top shape means that he was sick, right? But now he's like if nothing happened to him. He's in a great condition now. He's not sick anymore. Mm -hmm. So he's not sick anymore, right? He was sick, but now no more. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, everybody ready? Vamos a ver, I'm going to, I'm going to program it for you to share. Let me see. Going to stop. Okay, you will be ready to share your conversation with your partners. So you practice. How many are you right now? Almost 20. Oh, perfect. Perfect, perfect. I'm going to make 10 pairs. Mm, Kevin and Claudia, Carolina, Claudia, Carolina. Okay, I'm going to make nine groups then. 
Grace Michelle, Luz Angélica, Marina, Claudia Carolina, Karen and Rosy, David Alexander, Carla, Jonathan, eh, Luis Mauricio, Noé, póngase el nombre completo, please. Joana, Kevin. Vamos a intercambiar a Kevin. Ok, Adriana Edwin, Ana Alicia con José Alfredo y Carolina Karen. Todo el mundo está, ¿verdad? Solo Claudia, Carolina y Kevin, ¿no? Eh, ya, ya llegué a casa, mis. Ah, vaya, perfecto, Claudia, Carolina. Bueno, allá vamos. Todos los demás están. Yo puedo esperar que todos se van a unir a sus grupos a trabajar. ¿De acuerdo? Sí. Sí, sí, sí. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes teacher. Ok, perfecto. Allá vamos. Remember, go to book page 33. Page 33. Try to join. Grace, try to join. Hello, teacher. Hello. How are you? Mm. How do you say cansado? Tired. Tired. I am tired, teacher. Oh. Vaya, only, quiero ver, Kevin creo que está de oyente, sí. Entonces sí. solo Grace you Michelle. Great. Sí. Yes. Ok. La vamos a leer, ¿verdad, teacher? Sí. Ok. I mm. am Mr. Ruiz, Grace. Uh, good morning. This is Mr. Ruiz. Espérenme, solo ya lo ubico, permítanme. Okay. Hello, Mr. Reese. This is Jani. I have an I have a situation. Hi, Jani. Tell me, what's the matter? I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I'm as sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? That's something going around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh, yeah. I am tip top shape. Take it easy, Jenny. I hope to see you Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Reed. Have a nice rest of the day. Of the day, perdón. Of the day. Vaya, ahora change. Y después está la teacher aquí. Ay, sí, está la teacher. Estoy. Y después contestamos, ¿verdad, teacher? Cuando. Sí. Ah, bye. Ok. Pero cambien, cambien roles, ¿verdad? Sí, ahorita, 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 teacher. Good morning, this is Mr. Ruiz. Hello, Mr. Ruiz. This is Jenny. I have a situation. Hi, Johnny. Tell me, what's the matter? I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I'm as sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? <laughs> Hello, Mr. Ruiz. This is Jani. I have a situation. Hi, Jani. Tell me what's the matter. I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I'm 
I am, ay, si no lo podemos hacer. I am Andy as, as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? There's something going around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh, yeah. I am in tip top shape. Take, take it easy, Johnny. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Ruiz. Have a nice rest of the day. Excellent. Comienza usted entonces ahorita. Good morning. This is Mr. Ruiz. Hello, Mr. Ruiz. This is Johnny. Um, hello, teacher. Hi. Hello, hello. Hi, hi. I practice, I practice the conversation for Jonathan because he's a listener. Ay, no le creo. Y yo voy a preguntar si estaban todos conectados a trabajar. Jonathan, eh, ¿qué le pasó? Eh, I think it's a work. Y yo preguntando, ¿están conectados? No están. Me lo llevo entonces. <risa> ok, teacher. Pone penitencia yo aquí. Penitencia. No. Penitencia <risa> para Jonathan. Ok, teacher. Nah, ahí está bien. Yo lo estaba leyendo porque dije yo, por lo menos está escuchando. <ríe> sí, pues sí. Va, ahí va ya otro grupo. Hello, Noé. Está Diego. Hello, I'm here. Y Diego. Wait, I'm here. Diego. Hello. Are you working, Diego? Yes. I'm here. Okay. Did you finish? Yes, we finished. Yes. Did you the practice yes. and the answer the question. You answered the questions. Okay. Yes. Good, good, good. Vamos a ver. I'm going to check one more group and then I call you. Under the water too. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, yo soy Jani para que pueda decir esa parte otra vez. Empieza usted. Good morning. This is Mr. Ruiz. Hello, Mr. Ruiz. This is Johnny. I have asked a question. Hi, Johnny. Tell me, what's the matter? I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I am a sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? There is something going around. I hope you, I hope you are feeling better. Oh, yeah, I'm in tip top shape. Take it easy, Jenny. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Ruiz. Have a nice rest of the day. Okay. Eh, en este otro, en take, eh, como está uno solo, se une, take it easy, se escucha. Para que no le cueste mucho pronunciarlo, porque si dice take it easy, cuesta un poquito más. Es como, tómatelo con calma, Yanni. Espero ver colones. Sí, que te olvido. Está empañado de esa cosita. Me quedó muy fea la captura. Quiero ver en dónde estamos. Carolina. Hello, teacher. Are you with your partner? No, no me ubico donde menciona este Karen. Este... Eh, uh, ya, ya lo último que dice el Mr. Ruiz, después de que uh -huh. dice que se encuentra bien, está en negrito. Take it easy, Jani. Ah, ok, ya lo vi. Sí, take it easy, Jani. Ese take it es como que se, se une. Take, take it. Ajá. Uh -huh. Take it easy, Jani. Take it easy. Take it easy. 
Una vez más. Take it easy. Okay. Mm -hmm. eh, empiezo yo. Good morning. This is Mr. Luis. Hello, Mr. Luis. This is Jani. I have a situation. Hi, Jani. Tell me. What's the matter? I'm not That's... feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I'm as sick as a dog. Okay. I understand. Two, two days ago, I was feeling under the weather, too. Oh, really? There's something going around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh, yeah. I am fit to chef. Take it easy, Johnny. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Reese. Have a nice rest of the day. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Nice, nice. Any questions? Um, Aya, did you answer the questions? Aún no, no ya. Okay, go to answer the questions. Then I'm going to call you in a minute, okay? Okay, teacher. Solo que desde aquí no puedo ver bien las, las preguntas. ¿Qué, ah, no, ¿qué tú, Dani? ¿Por qué no puede ir Dani? Coming. A ver quiénes faltan. Hi, teacher. Hi, hi. Eh, eh, me tocó salir de, de, de emergencia, teacher, pero aquí voy a estar de oyente. Ok, ahí a Luis Carta. Vaya, voy a pasar lista antes de llamar, de, de, de pedir volunteers. Hoy. Vamos a ver, Adriana, Marcela. Present teacher. Nice. Adriana, where are you? Here. Eh, Ana Alicia. Present teacher. Carolina Miguel. Present teacher. Claudia Carolina. Present teacher. Diego Batres. Present. Edwin Mauricio. Present teacher. Eh, Grace Mitchell. Grace Grace. Present teacher. Ok, Jonathan David. Jonathan. Present. Ok, Karen Janet. Jonathan Present, me dejó abandonado al compañerito. Perdón, es que estoy en el trabajo todavía, lo siento. Sí, pero díganme, porfis. Porque, por ejemplo, los dos que me dijeron que estaban trabajando, lo que hice fue ponerlos en trío. Ah, porque así perdón. no pueden participar, ¿verdad? Porque están trabajando pero pueden estar escuchando. Igual okay. cuando van manejando, que no pueden estar, eh, no pueden ir leyendo, por ello guarde, ¿vea? puede tener un accidente, pero eh, pueden ir escuchando. Entonces lo que hago yo es mandarlos en, en trío para que los otros dos estén hablando, leyendo, y el que no puede en el momento puede ir escuchando. ¿Verdad? Entonces siempre díganme, aunque usted no se sienta así como que, ay, pero es que le dije ayer que hoy iba a estar trabajando y hoy mejor no le digo. No, siempre dígame, porque así cuando los mando en grupo yo tomo eso en cuenta. Por ejemplo, ayer tenía como siete, ocho trabajando al principio. Entonces lo que yo hice fue mandarlos hasta en grupos de cuatro, porque así el que no podía eh, contestar, ¿Verdad? Porque estaba trabajando, porque iba manejando, estaba yo pendiente de que lo había mandado a otro grupo donde podía estar de oyente. Entonces siempre, no se me aburran, ¿Verdad? De decirme, mire, teche, usted dígame, no hay problema. 
Así yo tomo eso en consideración para que no me quede eh, nadie solito. Ya ya había el pobre Mauricio, casi lloraba solito. <ríe> ¿Verdad, Mauricio? Ay. No, no, para nada. Para nada. Aún de hecho le dije que estaba practicando yo para que él escuchara. Aquí estoy yo leyendo, yo solito, Tiches, me dijo. Tiches, este ayer nos abandonó a nosotros, entonces ahora le tocaba. La pagó. Eso no sabía yo, vi. Cabal. Todo es para esta vida. Todo es para Luis. Ya vio, vea. No estaba lejos la venganza. Ok, va. Vamos a ver. Me, me quedé aquí con... ¿Dónde me quedé? Karen Janet. Karen. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Present teacher. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Ok. Kevin René. Present teacher. Eh, Luis Edgardo. Present teacher. Luis Mauricio. Present teacher. Noé. Noé, yo lo vi conectado. Present teacher. Aquí, ahí here. Estaba. I am here. Yo yes, sabía yes. que ahí estaba. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Y Mario. Y Mario. No, ¿verdad? Hoy no está Mario. Luz Angélica. Present teacher. Jonathan. No, Joana. <laughs> ok. Teacher. You ah, me so changed so. my name. <laughs> <laughs> Yo me quedo así a Jonathan, ya lo llamé. Joana, Joana Ruth. Ok, so sorry, Joana. José Alfredo. José Alfredo. Lo vi Present por aquí. Teacher. Está trabajando, ¿verdad, José Alfredo? No. Este, estaba por hacer un café. Ah, ok. Marina Vanessa. Presente, teacher. Eh, David. Presente, yo. Ok, vaya, ahí estamos. Y hey, miren qué bonito ustedes. Solo falta Mario. Ahí está. Vaya. Vamos a ver, my volunteers to read the conversation. Mi teacher. Edwin. Mi teacher. Ok, Edwin and Karen Stephanie, go ahead. Ok. Yo start. Good morning. This is Mr. Reese. Hello, Mr. Reese. This is Danny. I have a situation. Hi, Danny. Tell me, what's the matter? I am not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I am sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling on the weather too. Oh, really? There is something going around. I heard you are feeling better. Oh, yeah. I am tip top shape. Take it easy, Jenny. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Reese. Have a nice day of the day. Excellent, very good. Great, great. Who wants to be my next volunteer? Me, well, me teacher. teacher. Okay, Carla and con quién me dijo Carla? No sé con quién. Okay, vamos a ver. I heard two people saying me, teacher. Me. Me. Mi Ana, ok. Yeah. Carla, uh, Ana. Ajá, uh -huh. good morning, this is Mr. Ruiz. Hello, Mr. Ruiz. This is Jani. I have a situation. Hi, Jani, tell me what's the matter. I am not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I am as sick as, as a dog. Ok, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? There is something going around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh, yeah. I'm tip-top shape. 
Take it easy, Yanni. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Ruiz. Have a nice rest of the day. Thank you, Carlita. Hey, excellent. Very good. Very good, very good. One last pair. Diego and me, teacher. Okay, Adriana, con quien? Diego. Diego, okay. Go ahead. Okay, wait a minute. Um, okay, good morning. This is Mr. Ruiz. Hello, Mr. Ruiz. This is Jani. I have a situation. Hi, Jani. Tell me, what's the matter? I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I am as sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling on the water too. Oh, really? There's something going around. I hope you're feeling better. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm in tip top shape. Take it easy, Jani. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Ruiz. Have a nice rest of the day. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Luis quería leer, ¿verdad, Luis? Me acuerdo haberlo escuchado. ¿Qué dijo yo, teacher? Luis. Yo, teacher. ¿Quién dijo yo, teacher? Luis, ¿verdad? No, sí, dijo yo. Este, sí, Rosy también dijo. Vaya. Yes, teacher, ahead. me. Va. Ok, Luis San Rosy, go ahead. Good morning, this is Miss. Perdón, good morning, this is Mr. Ruiz. Ok. Um, hello, Mr. Ruiz, this is Jani. I have a situation. Hi, Jani, tell me, what's the matter? I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me and as sick as a dog. Ok, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under, under the weather too. Oh, really? There's something going around. I hope you're feeling better. Oh, yeah. I'm in tip-top shape. Take it easy, Jani. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot of Mr. Reese. Have a nice rest of the day. Excellent. Thank hey. you, Jani. Nice, nice. Very good. You, now, we're going to move here and answer the questions, right? Why can't Jani go to work? Why? Why can't Jani go to work? Because she has a stomach ache. She has a stomach ache. She has a stomach ache, right? She has a stomach ache, very good. How does Mr. Riz respond to the situation? How does Mr. Riz respond to the situation? He wished to Yanni feeling better and hope to see her next Monday at the office. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. Now, check. Here, these are the idiomatic expressions that we were using in the conversation. As sick as a dog, under the weather too. There is something going around. My stomach is killing me. Take it easy. Can't afford to. Call in sick. Tip top shape. Now, what you're going to do is match these idiomatic expressions with the meanings, okay? Match the idiomatic expressions with their meanings. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes for you to, to do it, and then we will check together. Remember, you can see them in full in the manual page 34, right? Page 34. Match idiomatic expression and its meaning.
As soon as you finish, you let me know. Finish, teacher. Okay, everybody finished. Everybody. Everybody, let me come back and talk. Only Adriana has finished. What about the others? Have you finished? Yes, teacher, thank you. Okay. Ready, ready? Yes, ready. Okay, perfect. Allá yes, teacher, vamos. ready. A ver, my stomach is killing me. Mm -hmm. Number four is the answer. What is the answer? My, the number one, my stomach is killing me. Uh -huh. Tell me the expression. My stomach is killing me. That's the expression. Ah, okay. My stomach hurts, right? Okay. To be very sick. As sick very, as a dog. As sick as a dog. Okay. A ver, pencil, disappear. Okay, as sick as a dog. To relax, to relax and rest. Take it easy. Take it easy. Not feeling well. Under the weather too? Mm -hmm. A ver, yes. In great condition. What tip is up shape? Tip top shape, yes. Don't have time to. Can offer to. Can offer to. Can afford, afford to. Can afford to. Many people have the same thing. There is something going around. Mm -hmm. Like with the diarrheas now, right? You tell somebody, you know what? I have a terrible stomachache. And they tell you, you know what? I was like that uh, last week. So something is going around. Lots of people having the same problem. Uh, to phone the office to say you're sick. Calling sick. Calling sick. Nice. Nice. Oy. <laughs> okay. Ya oyeron a mi hija que ya se bañó. Ahí está. Bueno. <laughs> okay, call in sick. Any questions here about the use? Questions, questions? Hmm? Yes. No, no. Teacher. I don't no know. Okay, perfect. Now, I want to show you this expression. Can afford to. Can afford to, it's usually used uh, to talk about money, right? But you see in the context before we're using it uh, to talk about time. Why? Because if you cannot afford to do something, you must not do it, 
because it will cause serious problems for you. That's the meaning, right? That's the meaning of can afford to. So you say, I know, you know what? I can't afford to go out at night. Okay, don't do it. If you do it, it will bring you problems. So don't do it. Okay, that's the meaning. I have another one here. When you say in the dark, in the dark means uh, being in ignorance. So you don't know, right? Uh, uh, you don't know about something. That's a state of ignorance to not have knowledge about something. If you have knowledge, you're not in ignorance, right? But if you don't know, you can say, you know what? I'm in the dark. I'm in the dark. That means I don't know, right? I don't know about it. Okay. Questions over there? No. Good. Because now it's your turn to be creative. <laughs> what are you going to do, Luis? Can you read? Okay, teacher. Pay work student A. You are sick and calling to your workplace to explain situation. Mm -hmm. Student B, you attend the call and ask your classmate what the matter is. Then change roles, use uh, four or five idioms in your conversation. Mm -hmm. So I think. Uh, yeah. The conversation is, is like a, is like the example for the. It's similar the, to the example. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh, it's similar to the example. So a student A is sick, right? So calls a student B and says, you know what? I'm, my stomach is killing me. My feet are killing me. So you don't have to use only stomach, right? So you say, my feet are killing me. My head is killing me. My back is killing me. Or oh, I have a bad back, right? So you call your workplace telling you have problems. And then the person who answers at your workplace is going to tell you or to answer, to attend the call and ask you for what the matter is, okay? Then you change roles to do it. But remember, you have to uh, use four to five idiomatic expressions. So I'm not asking you to use all of them, right? But at least four, minimum, right? A minimum four. Okay. Are you okay, ready for teacher. that? Easy. You can do it, right? Mm. See. I try. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, you don't have to use them in the order that is in the conversation because you're making your own conversation, right? Teacher. Hola. Can you do a Example with calling sick. Call in sick. Hello, good morning, Mr. Perez. Hi, Joanna, how are you? Do you know what? I'm calling in sick because I'm not, I'm not feeling well today. So I'm okay. calling in sick to tell you that I cannot go to work today. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Basha, any questions? Any other question? No, Basha. Hmm? no. Basha. A ver, pues cuéntenme, ¿quién es? ¿Quién los mando en trío, verdad? Para que se ayuden más. Um, vamos a volver a crear los groups. A ver, José Alfredo, Karen y Marina, ¿todos están libres? Sí. Sí. Yes. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Yes, yes. Ana, Joana, and Luz Angélica, everybody free, ready to work? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. 
David Alexander, Edwin y Noé. Yes. Ok. Yes, Jonathan, Carla Lorena, and Kevin. Jonathan is working y, y Kevin también. Ya lo voy a mezclar con alguien más. Vamos acá. Vaya. Eh, Adriana, Diego y Luis Mauricio, todos están libres, ¿verdad? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. yes, teacher. Yes. Carolina y Claudia. Carolina. Yes, free. Free, free, everybody. Yes. Okay. Eh, Grace y Rosa. Grace Michelle. Grace, Grace, are you yes, here? Yes, teacher. Va, okay. I'm here. F. Okay, vaya. Allá vamos. Ready. Luz Angélica, sí, ¿verdad? Aquí está. ¿Quién más me había escrito en chat? Yes, teacher. Ah, Claudia Carolina, pero me dijo que ya volvió, ¿verdad? Ya terminó. Bye. Allá vamos, chicos. Remember, four to five expressions. Si quieren usar five, it's okay. Si no, pues cuatro está. Ok. There we go. Try to join your group. Uh -huh, muy bien. Karen Stephanie. Diego. Diego, Diego. Ahí está. Por doctor. Hey, Edgardo. Okay. Hi, teacher. Hello. Ya les traigo sí. un compañerito. Usted va manejando, ¿verdad? Sí, teacher. Sí, espérenme. Ya le traigo a alguien que hasta ahorita que Thanks. estoy viendo que estaban solo ustedes dos, me quedé. ¡Ah! Me olvidó. Vaya, ya les traigo a David. ¿Qué grupo es este? Ok. Ocho. Ocho. A ver. Sí, me olvidó. Se me olvidó, me acordé de los otros dos niños y de Carolina, se me olvidó Luis. Ya va a venir David. Hello. Eh, hey, hello David. Sorry David, que me lo traje. Hello David. Pero hello. Eh, Luis Edgardo está de oyente porque va manejando ahorita. Ok. So you will work with Karen. Va. Chévere. Como Karen ya tiene el diálogo, me dijo. <laughs> Vaya, Karen. No tienen mute, Karen. No le escucho. No me miente. Karencita. De Perdón, yo hablando y hablando. Sí, ya me ha pasado eso a mí. <risa> Qué tremendo. No, que le estaba preguntando a la teacher cómo se pronuncia. Si yo quiero decir, I have a head headish. Así es, headish. A headache. A headache. A headache. Como que gato. I have a headache. I have a headache. I have a headache. Really? Really? Sí. Vaya, David. Entonces... Pero dele really como que le interesa, no le va a decir really. <laughs> really. Mm, como que no le cree, ¿verdad? Really? Como que es costumbre. Mm. Ajá, exacto. <risa> ah, ¿Really? <risa> okay, okay. Baby. ok, comencemos a armar el, el, el diálogo, pues. Uh -huh. ¿Lo hacemos de eh, Java a Headache? Sí. Vaya, ok. Pues. ¿Qué usted manda? <risa> Vaya, mire qué gala. Oigan, oh, es que así voy a sentirle un poco más, 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 ¿cómo se llama? Más real. Que me siento. <risa> ok. Vaya, entonces, entonces, este, como vamos a tomar como el ejemplo, ¿verdad? Que vimos. Sí, sí. 
Para se empezaría usted. Good morning. Ok. Yo sí. comienzo. Sí. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Eh, le voy, voy a decir. What's the matter? Perfecto. Voy a anotar entonces. What's the matter? Digo yo, ¿verdad? Y le digo. Hello, David. Eh, le digo, this is Karen. Sí. Eh, ¿Cómo se gusta? Karen. I have a, I have a situation. Just I'm not feeling well. Um, bien, no podría ser lo de mismo de my stomach is killing me. O oh, sí. No, change it. Change it, change it. Puede cabeza, decir, my, my, back is, my back is killing me, my feet are killing me. O oh, oh, mi cabeza. Uh -huh. Oh, my head is killing me. Mm -hmm. My head is killing me. I am... Um, igual tendré que cambiar la segunda. Mm, ¿Cómo por cuál la podré cambiar, Ticho? La segunda... I'm a sick as a mm. Ese sí quizás le quedaría igual, ¿verdad? Ajá, sí. Sí, ese sí, sí, sí tendría que quedarle igual. Igual. Bueno. I'm a sick as a I'm not feeling well today. My head is killing me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm not feeling well. I'm not feeling well today. Estar siempre lo mismo. Ok, I understand. Ah, y yo de podría decirle allí. Eh, no, ya pues sí, es eso, ya que se siente más. Como dice, como I was feeling, I'm, I'm not feeling. Ah, uh, I'm not feeling good. Ah, podríamos poner I'm not feeling good. I'm not feeling well. Oh, well, I'm yeah. not feeling well. Yes, I'm not feeling well. I'm not sí. feeling well today. Luz, I was feeling sick too last week. Uh-huh. We can use I was feeling sick as a dog like last week. I'm uh, feeling as sick as, as sick, sick as, as a dog. A dog. Mm -hmm. I was feeling as sick as a dog too last, last week. week. Uh -huh. In two or sí. 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 I was feeling as sick as a dog. As a dog. 
two. last week. Okay. I'm, I was feeling as sick as a dog too last week. Mm -hmm. Okay, ya llevamos. Quiero ver. Una, dos, tres. Tres. One, Ana. two, three. Okay, Ana, say, seriously? Are you feeling good now? Or do you feel good now? Or you feel better now? Are you better Maybe now? Que me conteste, I'm in tip top shape. Pueden ver la pantalla. Sí. Sí, sí, sí. Sí, pero es, ajá. Ana, said seriously? Like, como una pregunta? Like a question? Seriously? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Showing interest, right? Yes. We have to show interest. Exactly, exactly. Sí, porque my nepuchito. Yeah, that the word is okay. Seriously? Seriously? Like a question. Ajá, uh -huh. and the intonation, watch the intonation. Right? Uh, yes, it's only the intonation. Yeah. It's like a little question, seriously? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay, no las revisé, quiero ver cuál es. Teacher, I have a question. Tell me. Este, ¿cuáles expresiones eran las que íbamos a usar? ¿Estas? Sí, las que estaban o, en... O estas. Ah, ¿Cuáles estas o estas? Esta? Es que no me... La... No ah, me perdón, que... la, la de la conversación o las que estaban en, en los cuadritos rojos. Las de los cuadritos rojos son las mismas de la, de la conversation. Ah, ah, bye. Sí, son las mismas. Okay. Right, entonces aquí vamos a ponerle, oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm in TikTok shape. I'm in TikTok shape. I'm... I'm in tip top shape. Um, I am tip, tip top shape. I hope to see you. I hope to see you better. Just take up. Just take. Just take a. COVID test. <risa> Estábamos dando el diagnóstico, te lo siento. <risa> en resumen, hubiéramos puesto eso, le digo yo a, a Claudia. <risa> uh -huh. Ah, otra, otra cuestión. How do you say dolor de garganta? Is pain. Thor, a so, sore. Throat. Ah. Throat. That's a uh, uh, thorn. And you sore. spell sore. 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 S O R E. Sore. Sorry. Sorry. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Exactly. Sore throat. Sore throat. I have a cold. My body hurts. 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 My hurts. body hurts. S E. H U R T S hurts. Que me duele, right? My body hurts. Is H U T R? H U R T. H U R T. Uh huh. H U R T S. S. Body hurts. My body hurts. 
Chora. Me rala cola, mas... <risos> <risos> Pobre chita, não. Não, não, não. Ai, Sounds like a bar call. I hope you feel better. But take a COVID test, please. <laughs> Entonces, I need... My stomach is killing me. And... Oh, okay. ¿Cuántas llevamos ya usando? Solo hemos usado dos. una, dos. You have to use as a minimum four. Apenas llevamos dos. Ah, vaya, pues ya llevan dos. Por algo se empieza. Yes. Rosy, y si en la siguiente parte dice, uh, después de que yo le digo que mi estómago está matándome, Ahí pudiera decirme, I hope you are feeling better. O sea, que te mejores pronto. Yo espero que te mejores pronto. Ah, then I, I hope you feel better. You feel. Porque you are feeling no. es para el que estaba enfermo, pero que ahora espera ya que está ya mejor. se sienta mejor. Uh -huh. Dice, pero una pregunta, what are you feeling? Si está bien así. Es correcto. What are you feeling? What do, you, what do you como, como te sientes? Mm, what do you feel or how are you? Puede preguntar what? how are you feeling? Mm, how? Okay. Ah, sí, sí, es cierto. How are you ah, feeling? Ah, vaya, ves que yo hace rato le dije como how. How are you feeling? I'm feeling. My stomach is killing me. Ay, sí, eso es triste. Sí, Remember sí, sí. two weeks ago, I was like, my stomach was killing me. Sí, really killing. Sí. <laughs> es no, fortunately at school, there were bathroom, bathrooms closed. If no, I wouldn't have gone to work. <laughs> That was terrible, terrible, terrible. Sí. Y ni así te bajé, niñas. Nothing. Así, <laughs> a mí me dio mal de mayo el año pasado, teacher. Yes. Todo el mes de mayo pasé mal de mi estómago. Oh, my God. <laughs> pues <laughs> era de mayo. <laughs> Pero yeah. yo sí, horrible. Yes. Yo al final del mes de mayo, yo ya ni quería comer, pues, ni respirar para no ir al baño. Exactly. Because you feel that if you eat, you will have to go. But if you don't eat, you you have you get headache. That's very bad. Yeah. How are you doing? Two more. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. My stomach is killing me. Uh... Pueden cambiar el estómago y pueden poner cualquier cosa. Esa era la duda que teníamos, teacher, porque sí. como son expresiones, pensábamos no, que... Pero no, pero como allí la expresión es my is killing me. Ah, ok. O sea, puede ser cualquier cosa, o sea. Ajá, exacto. Mi cabeza. My head is killing me, my back is killing me, my knee, my feet, cualquier cosa. Ajá, uh -huh, my feet. Vaya, okay. pues ponemos otra cosa, Rosy. Que nos estoma sí. o dejamos eso siempre. No, cambiamos. My head is killing me. Uh -huh. Para... okay. Yo le preguntaría. Yeah. 
Teacher, yo no sé por qué entiendo, pero ya para hablarlo no me puedo expresar en serio. Ya es un trauma que tengo. Ah, pero ya va, mira, ahí va, despacio. La cosa es que usted se, se exige más de lo que... Es que sí, pues, yo creo que sí, yo me... me, me es que, es que mire, está haciendo, está haciendo las cosas, pero dice, no, es que no estoy haciendo... Y sí, la está haciendo. <risa> <risa> Así es que no, señorita. No sé, clave. No, señorita. You are ready when to the doctor. Podría ser, ¿verdad? Para hacer más larga conversación. Did you already go. You, you already, already go. Mm -hmm. Did you go already go. Go to the doctor. Ajá. Did you already go to the doctor. Oh, ¿ya tomaste alguna pastilla? Have you taken any pill? Ajá. Uh -huh. Vaya, entonces sería. You... The doctor or, para decir, o es or, ¿verdad? Or. Or you take a pill. Have you taken, have you taken any pill? Have you taken. Any pill. Any pills. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué me respondería? Pills. Yes, I have already taken. Se nos fue Michelle. Take it se escribe. No, no, estoy escribiendo. Mm. Ah, ok. Take it se escribe como T-A-K T-A-K E-N 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 Vaya, teacher, yo escribí bien, fíjese que ese, yo lo tengo, o sea, siento que el inglés lo tengo dentro de mí, pero no lo puedo sacar. Vaya, ya ve, ahí va para afuera de repente. Déjelo salir. Déjelo salir. Es que sabe... Ábrale la puerta. Es que sabe que cuando a mí me comenzó a gustar el inglés era en el tiempo de antes, teacher, cuando usted escuchaba una canción, pero en cassette, y si tenía la letra, era porque tenía el disco original o el cassette original. Ajá, entonces, ajá. Yo para conocer la traducción me ponía con el diccionario y yo las traducí. Entonces quizás ahí mm. es donde acostumbré a traducir. Sí, tengo bastante vocabulario, pero o sea, ya no lo sacaba, solo traducía. Llené ah. cuadernos así traduciendo, en serio. Ah, por eso usted va a ser traductora, entonces. <risa> Está bien cuando necesita traducir algo. Ahí le pregunto recién. Pues sí. No, porque, porque nada que ver hoy que estoy en una clase de inglés, nada que ver a veces. Sí se acerca uno a la traducción, pero no es lo mismo. Sí, ¿no? Lo que pasa es que el inglés tiene diferente. Para una misma cosa ocupan... O sea, una palabra puede significar muchas cosas. Varias cosas, dependiendo del contexto. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sí, ahí dependiendo. No se complican el... ellos. Sí. Nos sí, ahí el contexto. What context are you using? Yes. Different. Le voy a dar un minuto. Se lo respondamos okay. esto, Grace. Okay. You are ready go the doctor, go the doctor, or have a, you taking any pills? Quiero ver aquí. Yes. Hi, hi, hi. We finish, teacher. You finish, perfect. Yes. A eso venía, porque ya me los quiero llevar para afuera para que me compartan. Escribir, digamos, que qué pasaba. Ok, no es que allá estaba viendo a los otros. <risa> Como hoy hay más grupos, porque hoy los mandé más repartiditos. Bueno, vámonos entonces. Está bien. Let's go. Ok, qué rápido, muy bien. That's flash. Coming, coming. ¿Cuánto me falta? 
Es un montón falta. Están esperando el último minuto. Hello, teacher. Hello. Yeah, with me. Mm? Ready? Yeah, with me. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and you look. <laughs> and you look, the Luis. I'm on fire. Sí, mire, que anda listo para el karaoke. <laughs> Vaya, who will be my volunteers? Volunteers, chair. Volunteers. Eh, Diego en mí. Vaya, Diego. Share. <laughs> The screen. <laughs> hey, nice. Te pueden ver. <laughs> sí. Ok. Ok, wait Thank a you, minute. Uh, I can see. <laughs> ok. Wait, wait. Arena, stop it. <laughs> ok. Good morning, Luis. This is Diego. It's ok. Hi, Diego. How can I help you? I'm as a sick as a dog. Uh, my back is killing me. Oh, I understand. Last week I felt the same, but I'm in tip top shape. Take it easy. Oh, it's good to hear that. Can I throw you come uh, working the, in that way? Take the day off and rest and see you the next week. Okay, thank you, Luis. Uh, see you. See you. Enjoy the weekend. Okay. Thank you, Very thank good. You, Enjoy the weekend. Don't get sick. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Who's the next one? Volunteer or victim? Luz. Victim. Anna. <laughs> okay. Oye, victim. <laughs> No le dieron el gusto a Luis. Yeah. Coger el victim. Sí. Okay. Hi, Luz. This is Anna. I'm calling in sick. Hi, Anna. What's wrong? What, what can, uh, how can I help you? My head is killing me. I'm not feeling well. Okay. I was feeling as a sick as a dog to last week. Really? I hope you feel better now. Oh, yes. I am in top tip top shape right now so don't worry Anna take it easy and I hope you get well soon thank you see you soon okay very good excellent chicas who's next volunteer or victim next next who will be my volunteer Ana, choose a victim. Si no hay volunteer victim. Okay. Karen, Janet. Karen, Janet. Okay, with Davy. Okay. Uh, ready, Karen? Yes. Okay. Good morning. How are you? Hello, Davy. This is Karen. I have a situation. Hi, Karen. Tell me, what's the matter? I'm not feeling well. well. Last, last night, I have a headache. Okay, a headache. I understand. A headache. A headache. I had a headache. Okay, I understand. How you taking anything for the pain? Yes, I took aspirin, but I need to rest. Take it easy, Karen. I hope to see you tomorrow. Thank you, Davey. You're welcome. Okay, very good. Thank you. Who will be my next volunteer victim? Volunteer victim. A ver, Karen. Choose. Choose a victim. Choose a victim. <laughs> uh, Carolina, Abigail. Carolina. 
Yo le iba a decir ah. quién se riera primero, pero... Pero ni modo, ¿verdad? Vaya Carolina. Ah, Claudia. Claudia, Carolina y Carolina. Okay. Okay, ahí está. Ah, hello, Miss Dura. I am Claudia. I am feeling well today. I'm as sick as a dog. Hi, Claudia. Tell me, what's the matter? I have a cold. My body ha my body hurts. So throughout, I have a cold. <laughs> I have a sore okay. <laughs> My body hurts and I have a, a sore throat. Good. Okay, four nights ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Really? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm, I'm in top, tip top shake. Take it easy. I hope you feel better. Thank you, Miss Duran. Have a nice day. Okay, great, great. Excellent, chicas. Who's my next volunteer? Next victim. Karen, choose one. No, Karen, no, verdad, Carolina le toca escoger. Carolina. Who's next, Carolina? Let me see. <laughs> let me see, let me see. Mm. Aprovecha, aprovecha. Joana. Who? Joana. Joana. Vamos, Joana. Okay, I'm going to read it again with Ana because the Ana and Luz are my team. Oh, okay. Okay. Hi, hi, Joanna. This is Anna. I'm calling sick. Hi, Anna. What's wrong? How I can help you? My head is killing me. I'm not feeling well. Okay. I was feeling as sick as a dog too last week. Seriously? I hope you feel better now. Oh, yeah. I'm in tip top shape right now. So don't worry, Anna, and take it easy. And I hope you get well soon. Thank you, Joanna. See you soon. Nice, nice. Great. One last volunteer. Anna, choose. William is the... ¿Quién? Ay, uno quiere que todos participen, Miss. Vaya, pues, este... <laughs> Marina Vanessa, vaya. Marina, con ah, Marina con Neco y Mauricio. I, am, I, I work with Karen. Ok, ok. <ríe> Ay, Karen, ya le lleva. No. No, Karen, Karen, Karen. La otra Karen. Sí. Karen sí. Stephanie. Yes. Ok. 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 Permítame. Go. Good morning, Miss Marina. This is Karen. I have a situation. Hi, Karen. I am Marina. What's the matter? I am sick. I got up the cold. My head hurt. I understand. Have you already take medicine? I am already taking medicine. I hope to recover soon. I hope you continue continue better. See you on Friday. Thank you, Miss Marina. See you. Okay, very good. Excellent. Well, it's about time. Se libran los que faltaban. Porque ya no salimos. O bien escuchamos uno más, ¿verdad? ¿Quién, Vanessa? ¿Quién nos falta? Este, Rosa Hilda. Rosy. <ríe> Rosy. Ok, Grace. Grace. Grace Michelle. ¿Dónde está? 
Lo leo solita, Tich. No, es que, perdón, <ríe> quería ah, activar la... El micrófono estaba hablando y no estaba activo el micrófono. Ok. <ríe> okay. Aquí estoy. Comienza. Good morning, this is... Ah, no, usted... Sí, ¿verdad? Good morning, this is Rosie. Hello, Miss Rosie, this is Grace. I have a situation. I'm very feel sick as a dog. I must say. How, how are you feeling? Perdón, era. era how are you? My head killing. See, sí, my head killing me around. Take. You already go to the doctor, or have you taken any pills? Yes, I'm ready to take a pill. Hasta ahí nos quedamos, teacher, no lo terminamos. Ajá, you didn't go to the doctor. You should go to the doctor. Okay, muy bien, muy bien. Eh, no more, right? One minute to go. Okay, vamos a ver. Mm -hmm. I'm going to call the attendance. Let's see. Eh, Adriana Marcela. Present teacher. Adriana, present. Da Ana Alicia. Present teacher. Carolina. Present teacher. Claudia Carolina. SM. Diego. Present. Edwin. Present teacher. Okay. Elmer, no, verdad. Grace. Present teacher. Jonathan. Uh -huh. Se me perdió Karen Janet. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Mm. I hear teacher. Okay. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Kevin. Present teacher. Luis Edgardo. Present teacher. Eh, Luis Mauricio. Present teacher. Noé Ortiz. Present teacher. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Mario. Luz Angélica. Present teacher. Joana. Present. José Alfredo. Present teacher. José Alfredo, right? Marina Vanessa. Present teacher. David. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Any questions about today's class? No question for today. No questions for today. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Say, I have a question. Tell me, Anna. In, in the homework, we have to look for the expressions. We didn't use all that's all those expressions in, in the class. Vamos a ver, déjeme ver. Ahí está. Qué 
Ah, tenía que ver, bueno. ¿Cuál es, este, Ana? What number? Doce, la de ayer. Teacher, también en la catorce y en, el, en la dos de la catorce. Ya probé todas las opciones y no agarra ninguna. Vaya, vamos a ver. Vamos a ver la 14. This workshop is very dirty. Let's... Ah, es que son phrasal verbs que vamos a ver mañana. Sí, normalmente lo que pasa es que yo hago toda la tarea de toda la semana los días miércoles. Mm. No me gusta, no me gusta estar como día a día, vea, yo vea Exacto. personalmente. Pero eh, sí, la 14, o sea, la 14 y la, de la 2 no agarra ninguna opción. 14, 2. Remember to the power before you remove the machine. Vamos a ver. No quiere que le dé su meet porque no he respondido todas, solo una. Ajá, ahora, ajá, ahora, <risa> ahora sí está la plataforma. ¿Ya, ¿Ya le salió? Sí. Vamos a ver. Sí, I have the computer. If you don't lubricate these types of machines regularly, they will. Then The printer just stopped working. We need to. Mm -hmm. I'll see. La number two. Number two. Uh -huh. oh, remember two, the power. Mm -hmm. Y probablemente no tiene respuesta marcada. Correcto. Sí, no, no tiene marcada ninguna. Ajá. Exacto, Pero... entonces. Ya Se lo, lo digo vi. para que usted lo, lo pueda sí. platicar con la persona de, que hace la plataforma para que. Sí, ya lo porque voy a... ahí no Porque ahí básicamente como que nos baja un punto. ¿ve? Sí, le baja bastante. Sí, porque tendría que ser switch off. Ajá, correcto. Pero no hay respuesta marcada. Ya lo Ajá. voy a reportar. Thank you. Bueno, Re gracias. Good night. Good night. Hoy se queda Kevin conmigo. Bye, take care. Bye, see you. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye, bye, bye. bye take care. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Hola, teacher. Hello. ¿Cómo está? Bien, bien, diría yo. Ok. De camino Help. a la casa. 
<risa> Llegando ahorita. No, ahorita voy casi que a la mitad. <risa> Sí, son unos 10 minutos salir de la oficina. Uh, sí. Está lejos todavía. Solo deme un segundo para reportar este. Principiante 5. Ahí está. Ok. Eh, bueno, tell me, Kevin. Do you have any questions about today's class or any of the classes that we have had these days? Eh, pues la verdad, por lo general casi que siempre he estado de oyente en la mayoría de clases por el tema de trabajo y todo eso. Uh -huh. Pero el momento de hacer eh, las, las tareas, por así decirlo, cuando, cuando tengo por así una duda, lo que hago es ir a ver el video. Ajá, exacto. Cuando, exacto. Ajá, cuando tengo una duda sobre ello. Sí, Lo que hago es ir a ver el video porque si no, hay momentos en los que sí estoy oyendo, pero no presto atención porque estoy ya sea en una reunión del trabajo o en otra sesión con, con otro cliente. Uh -huh. Y así, ¿no? ajá, sí, se, se nos es bien complicado en, en algunos momentos. Sí, sí, ahí me estaba diciendo Jonathan que les ha caído mero pesado este. Sí, este cuando, cuando nos inscribimos, pues estaba todo tranquilo. Y justo cuando iniciamos es que es, empezaron todos los proyectos de la empresa. Sí, sí no ah. sé, eso, es, eso es un problema. Pero bueno, trabajo queríamos, trabajo tenemos. Sí, cabal, así nos toca. ¿Verdad? Sí, Leo. Pero sí, o sea, mayores, mayores preguntas así que, que digamos que me he quedado perdido en algunas cosas. Yo diría que no, o sea, como le comento, las veces que, que, que me he quedado, que no sé algo, lo busco ya sea en el video o en el libro. Que lo sí. Ajá, ahí me apoyo y... De momento, con lo poco que, que, que escucho en las clases y algo y lo que, y lo que veo, sí, sí lo, lo voy como rearmando en, 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 mi, en mi rompecabezas mental. Uh -huh, sí, no, pues y así toca, ¿verdad? Que, que hacer sí. trabajar el cerebro más, porque tiene que estar en dos cosas al mismo tiempo para sí. poder cumplir con lo, que, con lo que corresponde. Si eso... No hay, no hay de otra, ¿verdad? Pero lo bueno es que ya va a terminar el curso y, y ojalá que el otro mes estén un poco más tranquilos. Eso esperamos, aunque la verdad es que últimamente cada día se pone más, más pesado. Sí. Ajá. Bueno, y como ahorita realmente de reponerse todo lo que no se logró hacer el año pasado y el año anterior, sí, ¿verdad? Entonces, sí, es que más que más que todo el nivel de empresa es lo que nos ha, nos ha venido como a sobresaturar. Porque Exacto. había varios proyectos que estuvieron pendientes o se quedaron pendientes. Por ejemplo, el viaje que tuve, casi que de la noche a la mañana me tocó. Y, y, y nada, pues no podía ser mayor cosa. Pues sí, ni modo. Ah. Entonces, sí, claro, eso pues se acumula, ¿verdad? Se termina de de agregar a lo que a lo que ya estaba, o sea, lo que ya se tiene que hacer, más lo que no se alcanzó a hacer antes. Sí, exacto. Hay como el tema de entre nosotros, más allá de, del día a día, es de estar preparando y planificando todos los proyectos que salen. Pues. 
Exacto. No consume el tiempo fuera de la oficina. Sí, ah. eso hace que el horario se, se extienda. Pero sí, allí aproveche de ir viendo los videos, ¿verdad? Lo bueno es que está esa opción. Ahí están los videos y cualquier cosa, pues cualquier duda, no duden preguntar, ¿verdad? Que se le puede ayudar también. Vaya, pues Kevin lo dejo entonces para que siga llegando, ¿verdad, casita? Okay. Sí, okay. Have a good night and see you tomorrow. Muchas gracias. Igual, feliz noche. Ok, bye bye.